Hello friends and welcome to a new art video. A few days ago I finished my first mixed media sketchbook and it took me almost two years to complete. The thing is, I've always dealt with perfectionism and never really got the point of keeping a sketchbook. By the end of this video you'll see how my approach and feelings have completely changed. I think every sketchbook should have some nice stickers on the cover. They make it more appealing and they simply invite you to create. If I could, I'd put stickers everywhere. So on the first page I did some studies from Pinterest because I wanted to stay in my comfort zone and get the page right, otherwise I wouldn't continue <laughs> with the sketchbook. Uh, and uh, what I usually do is combining two photos because I don't want to stick to just one reference photo and I usually change the expression and maybe the pose, some details in uh, the background or in the dress and I also love to replicate the colors that I see on the photos with watercolors of course and uh, this is not very easy because I don't have a lot of colors in my palette but even if I did have a lot of colors um, I wouldn't have the exact shade that I'm searching for so I have to mix it th there's a lot of trial and error <laughs> uh, anyway I, I really love doing this page I usually don't like to paint on the back of the pages because the paper buckles a little bit of course it's a mixed media paper so it's thinner than the watercolor paper and it will always buckle a bit even if I use very little water and here is a study of a paparazzi photo of Emma Watson and I wanted to try and replicate it um, here I replicate every detail and color I don't know if you can recognize her from this uh, drawing let me know in the comments if yes or not here I did a Draw This In Your Style challenge. Um, I don't remember the artist at the moment, but I'm going to find her and let her on the screen. And uh, what I wanted to achieve with this drawing is um, a lot of nostalgic vibes and delicacy. And I also used uh, the combination of pencils and watercolors and I think it's very very cute and uh, very sweet. Also I never finished this page, I never completed it and uh, it feels a bit empty as you can see. <laughs> Well, here there are a lot of things going on because there are some different studies all put together. Uh, here there's another draw this in your style. It's very little but uh, very sweet and with different colors than I usually use. And um, this is a study from uh, a photo of a statue. Um, here is another study. Mm, I think I've seen this kind of character on Pinterest and I tried to um, replicate it by adding different uh, clothes. Here I was developing a character for a story I had in my mind and I did like quick sketches of the main characters. As you can see they're very um, very rough but I love them so so much because um, they have so much energy rather than the finished drawings. Here I attached a piece of baking paper because I've used a lot of graphite and I didn't want it to transfer to the other page. And uh, this is a kind of homage to the Queen Elizabeth on the day she passed away. And um, I was really inspired to draw a portrait in a more realistic way than I usually do. And also drawing an old person because I usually draw only cute and young characters. And it was like drawing my grandmother who unfortunately I can't see very often. And yeah, I had this uh, nostalgic vibe the whole time, the whole painting. And here there are some very ugly sketches. Uh, as I said before, I don't like to draw and paint on the back of the page. So I feel very free to do whatever. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this window. These are two thumbnails of my new profile photo, my new avatar. Uh, I wanted to try different color palettes and to also find uh, the perfect red shade, as you can see here. And um, on the other side, I have a painting that I did for YouTube. Uh, you can find it under the name of my perfect brush for watercolors. Um, so this is a, like a demo where I've used only one brush that I really love because I can use it both for backgrounds and for details. And of course, I drew mushrooms because I really love this subject, uh, as you've noticed in my channel. 
here I did some hand drawing practice because it's never enough to draw hands. And I really like the contrast between uh, ultramarine blue and this orangey shade for the hands. Uh, yeah, there's nothing fancy about it. On this side, you can find the most popular mushrooms of my channel because I painted them with Kuretake watercolors and that video just blew out the last past months. Uh, so a lot of people subscribed to my channel because of that video and I thank you so, so much. Here again, some ugly sketches on the back of the page. I've only used the ballpoint pen to do everything and uh, you can also find the video on my YouTube channel. Uh, I think the point of this page was a drawing from imagination and uh, feeling free and spontaneous to do everything, even if it's not perfect. Of course, there are a lot of subjects in my comfort zone, like mushrooms, a girl and a bird. But why not drawing things like this, very spontaneous, in our sketchbooks? <laughs> Here I wanted to draw something for the Draw Tober challenge and uh, I've mainly used colored inks and pencils. This is the reason why I attached this piece of baking paper again. And I really like the prompt and the fact that this little witch is pouring a magical liquid uh, to grow the pumpkins. I thought this was a really nice idea for a magical garden. And here we are at the end of the November and I wanted to draw something for Christmas already. So here there's a draw this in your style where I put some Christmas clothes on the character. This is the cover for my art and calendar, which is a sort of challenge that I created for the whole December. And uh, I really like the pointy hat, both on this character and on this one. And uh, disclaimer, no, I never watched Over the Garden Wall. Uh, I, I discovered it because you told me in the comments on Instagram, but no, never watch it. Here are all the prompts for December. And as you can see, I decided to divide the page in little squares so that I wouldn't find an excuse to not draw because of the big space. Um, these little spaces instead help me a lot to draw each day, every day. So here is a little building with another unfinished building here. And I remember that I've used my ink brushes that I bought last year. And on the other side of the page, uh, there's a drawing that I did uh, on YouTube and uh, I've only used Posca uh, markers and ballpoint pen, uh, that is. And the prompt, of course, is circus because I really like the clothes, the colorful things, the strange characters, the creepy things and so on and so forth. Oh yeah, this is my favorite page in this sketchbook. I really like this character. Um, this is a mix of mauve and a prince. And I've completed the page with some birds and other face expression. I really, really like this page, especially for the character, the light on his face, everything. <laughs> and on the other page, there's my draw this in your style character. Uh, she's an elf and I love all the decorations, especially the Romanian decorations on the collar. I think this character was very suitable for that Christmas because it's very warm and traditional. Here are my least favorite pages in the sketchbook because uh, on this side I have some um, attached sketches from another sketchbook and these are the um, thumbnails for other drawings. This was a drawing I did for a commission and this one is the thumbnail for this character. <laughs> it's very different, I think. Mm, I don't know um, who is she and here I think is an attempt to draw uh, the character, the moth character. While on this page I had such high expectations that in the end I hate it because all the proportions are wrong, the link between the characters is so unnatural, I don't like the wings here, and overall I had such a great idea in my mind, but on the paper I just hate it. Again, you'll notice that I don't like to paint on the back of the page, so I just drew some uh, characters. Here I tried to figure out the outfits for this illustration, and um, yeah, I just looked at photos for some nice clothes and drew them here to have an idea for the final illustration. While for this page, I took inspiration from a draw this in your style of this artist, and uh, I tried to use the pose, but I put my character instead, which was uh, this one. 
I've changed a bit the outfit and overall I like it. Here again some studies with pencils because we're on the back of the page and here I tried to study different face expressions but I stopped at the second. <laughs> I didn't have the energy to do all the page. And here are my most beloved characters on TikTok. Uh, these are the same characters as in this illustration. She's Luna, she's a fairy with pink hair and she is her friend with a much more roundish lines and fashion style. The fact is that I didn't like the drawings at the beginning, but still decided to ink them and color them. And the video that I put on TikTok uh, really blew out. So uh, yeah, it's very surprising. Here are some color tests with tombows and some thumbnails and sketches for an illustration that we'll find in the next pages. And here are two characters that I drew for a video here on my channel. I wanted to test two different colored pencils brands, uh, Holbein and Polychromos. And of course, I drew again fairies. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the illustration I was talking about on the previous page. As you can see, this is a thumbnail with the same pose and um, I drew this for Mermaid, but also for testing a new brand watercolor that also had these shiny shades. Very, very nice detail and also the lighting, the background. I like everything of this illustration. <laughs> On the other page, there are some birds mixed with flowers. Uh, this was a prompt for my Patreon that now is closed. But anyway, I think this was a nice exercise to uh, train the creativity. And I decided to paint them even if they are on the back of the page because the page didn't buckle so much and I thought it would be nice anyway. Here again, some other studies. Here I wanted to stylize the face and see which features I liked the most. And on the other side, there are some mermaids because again, we were during May and there's the mermaid challenge. And here I wanted to try the Ecoline watercolors. Uh, I think there's a video here on my channel about it. And anyway, I wanted to come up with these poses from my head, from my imagination. And in the end, I did it and I'm very happy with the result. These are some sketches that I drew from references, apart from this one, which is a combination of a reference and my character Luna. And overall, I tried to experiment with different tools, such as tombows, copics, uh, pens and highlighters as well. I really like the fact that I was spontaneous and free to do everything without being overwhelmed by perfection. And I think this is very important when you keep a sketchbook. Here it was impossible for me to draw because usually copying markers show on the other side of the page. So it's like I've colored it already and I'm not so bothered because uh, I don't like to draw on the back of the page as you know. <laughs> on the other side I did a study from a photo which had a very nice building with nice shadows and lighting so I wanted to replicate it. And I've also added a character and some clothes in here. Overall, I like this contrast between bluish shadows and yellow. And uh, I feel it's very warm and cozy. I really like it. Uh, this is an exercise that I usually do when I feel stuck with creativity and it's mainly about uh, painting some bubbles of color and then putting a character or a drawing in it without thinking too much, without planning and uh, yeah, I really like this drawing because I think it's not so obvious as an idea. Anyway, this is a very cute idea for drawing something and just fill the page. On the other side, I drew the same character in three different styles. This one is more squarey, this one is like cartoony and this feels like mine. Um, I think it's a mixture of both styles. And I also colored it with some Ecoline brushes, which by the way, I didn't like so much. Here again, some other drawings. And uh, as you can see, there are more in a Disney style. And this is because I was reading a principle of animation, which was stretch and squish the shape. And I tried to apply it to different objects and see what happened. And yeah, I think they're very Disney-like. On the other page, I did a draw this in your style challenge using for the first time the Arteza gouache. And honestly, I don't like it so much. I don't know what bothers me the most. Uh, anyway, the only thing I like is the head with the two playing mouses here. 
around this time I was dealing with a burnout and I could only draw things in my comfort zone such as girls and portraits and birds as you can see and also in this page I tried to use for the first time the acryl gouache which helped me a lot to take the pressure off because whenever I paint with watercolors I feel that I need to be perfect that I have to do everything right um, and using another medium a new medium in this case really helped me go through the burnout and see my art in a different way and allow changes. Here again some bad sketches. The fact is that I've used the pen uh, from the beginning so the proportions are very off. Uh, anyway, I should do this exercise more often. On this page I did a lot of watercolor studies directly from my phone gallery and this is because uh, whenever I go for a walk I take a lot of photos and I think that when I come home I'm going to paint everything and I'm going to study the photos but I never did it. So here I am doing some studies of a particular city that I really love. It's called Asolo and if you come to the north of Italy please visit it because it's beautiful. Uh, this is from a um, film in particular, so it has nothing to do with the other studies. Here again, other studies from my phone gallery. This was an image I found on Pinterest, while this one was a tree again in Asolo, the city that I really love. And I thought it would be nice to, to draw it because it has such amazing shapes. And on this side, I just painted some faces directly with the brush. And I think it's a very nice exercise if you want to uh, draw a lot of shapes without thinking too much. And I really like this portrait in particular. I think it has very nice shapes and color uh, combination. Here again, there are some quick sketches. And here in particular, I was trying to find an idea for December 2023. So I did different sketches and you'll see in the later pages which one I've chosen. And here there's a little illustration that I did with regular gouache. And I've also used a more vibrant colors than I usually use, as you can see. You may have seen this character in another video in my channel. And uh, the fact is that I really like it and I wanted to put it in another scene with the whole environment. Here are some studies from my imagination and I usually used very little tools like a couple of highlighters and uh, one or two pens and that's it. I wanted to keep it very simple because uh, I struggle so much with finding new poses and new ideas that when I use very little tools I can focus on that unique goal. Here of course you can see some mushrooms and what I usually do is looking for nature photos and then starting from there to create characters and this bunch of mushrooms really inspired me to create a sort of mushroomies. <laughs> So this is the illustration that I did in December 2023 and these are some color tests for this illustration that I did during a live in Instagram. I usually don't do color tests as much as I want but for this illustration they were very helpful because they helped me find a color combination different from the usual and obvious red and green <laughs> for Christmas. For this illustration in particular I've only used Copics and Lighters. Here again, I didn't draw anything because Copics shows very much on the other side. So I think it's also nice to see all the colors without lines. And another illustration for Christmas was this one. I just wanted to imagine Santa Claus as a child with uh, some baskets full of gifts and traditional clothes. Here again, I had some fun with colored bubbles. I like to draw anything that comes to my mind without any planning and uh, just with a pen. And I really like this character. I think it's so adorable. On this page, I wanted to replicate a scene from Diagonale. I really love Harry Potter, but I also love adding a lot of elements and things in my drawings. So I had fun using a liner and uh, drawing everything in detail. So first I used the liner, then I used the brown ink for everything and in the end some color pencils. In the end I don't like the result because I think the colors are too muted and there's no contrast in there. But anyway, it was just an exercise. Here again some other color bubbles with other characters, nothing to say about it. Here is my portrait that I did at the end of 2023. Uh, you can also find a video on my channel. And overall, I like it because uh, I think uh, I did a good job with the face feature and with watercolors overall. 
So this is a blank page because it was too buckled to draw on it. And I also didn't want to ruin my portrait. So I let it as it is. And on this other page, I had some high expectations because I wanted to create a mysterious scene with a witch uh, in front of a library. But in the end, I didn't feel it right. So I didn't want to invest my time in painting it. I don't know if one day I would do it. Who knows? So this is the last illustration in my sketchbook, even if it's not on the last page of it. And this is because uh, I just drew it and painted it a few days ago, since I never painted this drawing. Also, I found a photo with hanging clothes like this, and I thought, why not adding a character that expresses the same freedom feeling like the clothes do? So here it is, the illustration that I think it's very suitable for this spring. On this other page, there are a few witches, and the main goal was using a combination of copy markers and watercolors and see what happens. The fact is that only in this case, I've used copy markers first and then watercolors on top, while in this case, I've just used watercolors and I had to use what copics on top but eventually I never use them uh, this is just watercolors and this is just copy markers of course I couldn't draw on this side of the paper I just did a random sketch on the last page in my sketchbook I decided to attach an exercise about creativity again and I'm going to talk about it more in a video in the next weeks Anyway, it consists in combining two different words of two different topics and see what comes to your mind. Uh, as you can see, the drawings are very, very funny. <laughs> So this is the very last page in my sketchbook. And as you can see, I've attached another page on top of it because I didn't like the figure drawings here underneath. So I did these figure drawings based on vintage photos that I liked much more. <laughs> What I've learned from this sketchbook is that it's funnier to experiment with new tools and trying new things, drawing new shapes and not being perfect. So I want to be more spontaneous in my next sketchbook. And overall, I would suggest you to use this Stratmore mixed media because uh, it's a real mixed media sketchbook. Every tool worked very nicely on it and I was very happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed this tour and see you in the next video. Bye.